Hi, my name's Eddie Finnegan. I'm the franchisee for Select Appointments in Glasgow. Um, I've been a franchisee for about 15 months and uh, looking to expand the business uh, over the next three years. So my background after graduating uh, in business management was, was HR. So I spent maybe about uh, 17 years in uh, various HR roles, both within the UK and on an international basis. Um, uh, specifically, I was based in the Middle East for about 10 years. The biggest uh, advantage for, for me was being able to uh, have the freedom and the independence uh, to make your own decisions. Um, I think after you know 17 or so years in, in the, the, the corporate world of uh, sometimes uh, bureaucracy and uh, you know, frustration of perhaps not all the decisions being able to, to be followed through for various reasons, um, having the freedom and the independence to, to make your own decisions but within um, a great support framework uh, was, was a good reason for me to, to start my own business and start my own business as, as a franchise. recruitment side of things, it seemed like a logical progression from the HR world that I'd been used to. Um, I, I, I'd hasten to add that it seemed like that. So obviously there's a, uh, some very different challenges associated with it as well, uh, not least uh, business development and, and made, making sure that there's a good pipeline of uh, leads coming through the business. It has stood me uh, well because uh, you know, in terms of identifying the right candidates, being able to talk uh, the right language with senior HR contact, contacts who are interested in talent development um, and having that uh, experience of having interviewed uh, candidates at various levels within the business, high volume recruitment and also senior appointments uh, has been, uh, has been a, a good starting point and uh, it's, it's, my knowledge in that area has allowed me to, to sort of develop reasonably quickly my, my awareness within the recruitment. Make sure, uh, first and foremost, that I've got the right people in place. Following that, uh, we'll be looking to expand further uh, within Scotland, uh, perhaps looking at other territories within Scotland and other territories within the north of England. A person who's going to be successful in recruitment, they need to drive, they need, need to have energy. Uh, willingness to learn, uh, you know, I don't think you can come in with a big ego and, and expect to be successful, you need to be humble. You need to be able to listen to, to the different ideas and the different contributions. Making sure that you, you know the job and you become a consultant before you become a director. Um, I, I think if you come in with a notion of you know, trying to operate as a director um, in the typical sense of the word, um, then you'll lose sight of what's actually going on on a day-to-day -day basis. And I think certainly in the early days of the business, it's really important to have that finger on the pulse. It's really important to, um, to understand the local market, um, not just to have, a, have a, you know, an overview of it or a, a, a broad understanding. You really need to get into the guts of it to, to be able to understand your client, understand what the, the, you know, the, the candidates are looking for and understand what the client needs are. And uh, I think using, uh, using that awareness, getting the sleeves rolled up, and being prepared to work hard um, can be, you know, are, are always uh, very useful uh, when building up a business. And then you can play becoming a director at some point down the line. Ten years. <laughs>